In this video, we're building something fun and useful, a Grok-style action menu, with smooth animations and a clean layout. It starts simple just buttons and layout. Then we'll add logic to show and hide the menu, blur the background, and slide things into place. By the end, you'll have a fully working animated menu, just like the one used in Grok. Let's break it down, step by step. One last thing. I'm currently available on Upwork, and I genuinely enjoy building new ideas. Scan the code, and let's talk about your project. We have four different views they are very simple, just a UI, and on the last view, we will start working on the functionality. This is the first view. There's nothing special here. It's just a row of action buttons in a horizontal scroll view. No functionality, just simple UI to show some tools. The second view is also simple. It holds the text input and extra buttons. One thing to note, when you tap the paperclip, the menu shows and the keyboard hides. That's managed with show menu and is focused. Everything else is basic layout. This is icon view. It's a small piece we can reuse to show any tool or action we want. Each one shows two things, a icon and a name. That's all but it also has one job it runs in action when you tap it. Now there's a small detail here. Some of these items need to stand out more than others. So we have a way to show that. If with background color is true, we give it a filled circle behind the icon. It looks like a solid button. If not, it gets no background, just a soft gray circle around it, like a light outline. Finally, we wrap it all up in a row icon on the left, text on the right. And when you tap it, it runs whatever action we gave it. So this tiny view does three things. It shows the icon, shows the name, and responds to a tap. That's all, but we can use it again and again with different settings each time. This view uses a simple toggle called show. When it's true, we open the menu. When it's false, we hide it. That's all this variable controls whether the action menu is showing or not. We use any layout to switch between two layout types. If show is true, we use a vertical stack so the icons appear one above the other. If not, we switch to a Z stack, which stacks everything in the same space. This lets us change the layout with one line. Here, we change how clear or visible the menu is. If show is true, we set the blur to zero and the opacity to one fully visible. If not, it's blurred and faded out. That's how we smoothly show or hide the menu. We change the padding based on show. When it's true, we push the menu out a bit 47 points from the side and 90 from the bottom. When it's false, we shrink it in just 25 points each, and we always keep it aligned to the bottom left. Behind the menu, we use a soft blur effect using ultra-thin material just to blur the background. We also fade this in and out using opacity. And if you tap anywhere on the screen, the menu closes thanks to on-tap gesture. Finally, we place the chat view in the background, locked to the bottom left. This way, the chat input stays underneath everything else, and only the menu floats on top. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're into building smart projects with Swift UI. I'd love to hear your thoughts, drop a comment with any ideas or questions, and see you in the next video.